He says the Attorney General have informed their office 18 March 2024 that the President has been duly served with both applications and had advised the President not to take any step in relation to the bill. It is not for the Attorney General to advise the President not to take any step. The Constitution dictates what the President should do, assent to it or refer it back to Parliament with an explanation or to the Council of State. It didn't say he should refer it to the Attorney General. Yes, Article 88 gives him a mandate. The Constitution is very clear. So what we want to do, and it's part of the matters I raised before Parliament, we must now know when the Parliament remit the bill to the President, and we will count seven days. If seven days have lapsed and he has not assented to, and he has not written back to Parliament, nor to the Council of State, will hold the President responsible for a constitutional break. And he should know the legal, lawful, constitutional consequences of his action. So this is why we've called to address you that it's a matter of grave constitutional threat to our democracy and to the proper and effective functioning of the constitutional structures created by the ninth, framers of the 1992 Constitution, which envisioned separation of powers not the predominance of any organ over the other, not the predominance of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado over every other organ of state. He is wrong in law, he is wrong constitutionally. The clerk should ignore this communication. I'm happy.